Hey everyone, Leanne here from Kingdom Blogger. So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up Post Planner so you can schedule out your content to social media for the entire month. So we're gonna be focusing specifically on your Facebook page, but of course this process can be used regardless of which platform you're trying to grow. If you've been following me lately, you know that I'm really, really focused on growing my Facebook page to get not only build my followers and engagement there, but to get more traffic from my Facebook page over to my blog. The thing you have to understand about Facebook, as far as being a good traffic source, is that you can't just post blog posts. Like if that's the only thing you're doing there, it's not gonna work. And also you have to understand that because Facebook is a here and gone, in other words, it's posted and then it's gone in the feed. So if you post it in the morning, somebody who doesn't get on Facebook until later in the day, even if they're following your page, may not ever see the post. And so posting several times throughout the day is really a better strategy for building that quality engagement that you're looking for. But obviously, you don't have time to be on Facebook every hour. And that's where Post Planner comes in. So if you're new to Post Planner, it's a really great scheduling tool. <clears throat> and it's one of the best ones. I have, I've tested out a whole bunch of different ones. And I love this one because it's so easy to set up your plan, but it also has some features such as posting the first comment as the blog post link and things like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to hop over in. I'm going to show you my current plan for my Kingdom Bloggers page. And then I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your posting plan and then get all of the stuff in there and maybe do it in an hour, maybe two hours your first time because you're learning it. So let's hop over here. All right. So this is my plan for the Kingdom Bloggers Facebook page. Now you can connect multiple profiles in Post Planner, depending on which uh, subscription you're on. So Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, um, Twitter, there's like a whole bunch of different ones. So we're just focusing on Facebook pages. I am posting, as you can see here, 11 posts per day at a minimum. I do occasionally uh, in my feed, I will share other posts from other creators as well on my Facebook page if I find it engaging. But at a minimum, there's 11 posts that go out every single day. And you can see here, so this is just the plan. This is the plan. This isn't the content itself. So every day at 6, 7, 9, 11, 11, 45, 12, 1, 2, 3, 3, 30, and 5 p.m. I've, I've learned that, of course, lunchtime, more people are actively on Facebook at that particular hour because they're on their lunch breaks. And also around 3 p.m., between 3 and 5 tends to be a higher engagement people getting off work, sitting in line, waiting to pick their kids up from school, things like that. So I added some additional ones at the half hour for those. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is decide what type of content are you going to be sharing each day? Now you can see here on mine, I have an actual prayer, a daily devotional with a graphic, a blog post, a funny meme, this one is community engagement. So this is an actual, like a question where you just write in the question. There's a uh, free printables and it's on repeat. This is a recycle bucket. We'll talk more about that in a minute. I have another blog post here, an inspirational content graphic. Um, this is from the streams, a Bible question, a random post. So this really could be just anything. Um, mostly it's when I see, as I'm scrolling Facebook myself, and I see engaging statements, questions, or things to ponder, like God doesn't call uh, equip, He doesn't call the equipped; He equips the called. You know, if I just come across something, I'm like, "Ooh, that's good." Then I will kind of write it over in my notes, and I will create my own um, background or whatever with that statement on it. So it's just pondering kind of content. That's what I call it. And then another blog post. So my ratio, what I try to keep is a two to one. So for every two, so if I'm going to put a blog post link, then I need two non post links. So, you know, actual prayer, daily devotional blog post. Uh, static, static blog post. Now I do have two blog posts back to back here, but this is a recycle bucket. So I don't really count that one. Uh, content, question, random post, 
So out of 11 posts per day, I have four that have an actual link to a piece of content on my site. So that's the ratio I try to keep. Um, just so, because again, Facebook doesn't want to push out links. It wants to put out content. So the more content I'm putting out, the more Facebook showing my stuff to other people. All right. So let's create our buckets. So a bucket is basically a category of content. So in each of these color coded things are called buckets. I couldn't just call it categories. It's called, or folders and <laughs> they call them buckets, but it's the same thing. So, hmm. Um, we're going to come over here to, to post this, this, where the bullets are. And you can see right here, it has buckets. So I'm going to click on bucket. Now I, these are buckets I have for my kingdom site. So we're going to go ahead and create some buckets for this tutorial. So we're going to scroll to the bottom here and it says create new bucket. Now this gives you ideas of types of content. Um, depending on what your blog is, you know, promoting or whatever. And just if you're like, I don't know what else to put beyond my blog post. These are, you know, behind the scenes. This could be a, a video, a reel, um, a product that you're trying to promote, whatever. I mean, this just gives you ideas, but you can totally just create your own. So we're going to create a new bucket now so I can keep track of these in the list because I do have a lot of other ones. We're going to start it with... PFE, and we're going to have an, I'm just going to call it a graphic. And this is going to be my prayer. We'll call it a prayer graphic. And I'm just going to give it a color. Now I'm going to select the profile. So I only want this one, the PFE page, because I'm going to schedule it to just one profile. And that's it. So we're going to save that one. And it's going to go to the bottom of the list here. Now I'm going to create a bucket for PFE stream graphic. Now you could call this whatever, um, encouraging content, motivational post, whatever. But for the sake of this tutorial, so I can keep track of what's going in it, I'm just giving it a simple name. So again, we're just going to do the one profile and we'll give this one an orange color. Now the next one is gonna be a blog post link. <clears throat> and I'm gonna give it blue. And we're gonna call it PFE static. So this is gonna be where I write in the text. So this is those engaging questions. Well, we can call it a question, PFE question. And I'll give it a color, select the profile that it's going to. And then let's see. So we got an image, a stream, a blog post, a uh, static question. And then I'm going to do a recycle. And I will explain what that is. And we'll go dark red. All right, so now we have over here, you can see one, two, three, four, five. So I've created five buckets for this tutorial. Of course, you'll want to create more than that. Um, but just for the sake of time, I'm just going to go with those because each of those are a different type of post and how you schedule it's going to be a little different. All right, so now we're going to come over here to posting plan. And I'm going to click on the PFE profile. So what we're gonna do here, so we have five posts. So I'm gonna start, well, let me bulk action this and see. Yes. Okay, bulk action, so let's get rid of that. There we go. All right, so here we're going to go with the prayer, PFE prayer graphic. I want it to post at 6 a.m. Monday, uh, Sunday through Saturday, so seven days. We're gonna hit save. There we go. So every day at 6 a.m., I want a prayer graphic to go out. Now we're gonna do the next one, which is for my for the purposes of this, my stream graphic. And that's gonna go out at 8 a.m. every day. And then we're gonna do the blog post at 
10 a.m. every day. And the next one's going to be a question. And that one's gonna go out at 12 noon every day. And this one's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, the recycle every day. And this one will go out at two. So one, two, three, four, five posts per day. And so every day at this particular time, I want this type of post to go out. All right, so now we need to go in and schedule this content. So let's start with the prayer graphic. So for the purpose of this, um, I have each of these a specific type of piece of content to show you how I'm creating it. So these are ones I create inside of Canva. Now, if you struggle, you're like, okay, I need 30 prayers for the month. I don't think I can create 30 different prayers because they will all end up sounding the same. Chat GPT is your friend. So I created a conversation or a chat, whatever you want to call it here. And I say, create a list of 30 questions. No, this was, sorry, morning prayer. Here we go. Write a short good morning prayer. I just wanted these to be like maybe one to three sentences just for the sake of a graphic that's going to show on Facebook every single day that's more of a morning prayer. And it's actually been really good about giving me, again, like if I try to do this, they would all sound the same. Um, spoiler alert, my prayers are pretty boring. <laughs> and so I, I, I wanted a variety to where they say something different every single day. And so... I mean, these are pretty good. So what I do is I copy all of these into an Excel spreadsheet. So in a single column, put each one in its own thing. Then what you're gonna do is save this as a CSV file. So you just come up here, download CSV, and it'll save it to your computer. Over here inside Canva, you're gonna open up one Instagram size, so 1080 by 1080, and, you know, make the background, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And I put a, you know, a blank shape behind it uh, for the color. And then put one of your prayers in here, okay? Get the font right, whatever. So now what we're going to do, I've already saved this file to my computer. We are going to come over here to bulk create. Upload data. This is the CSV file that I saved. So you're going to click that, hit open, continue. And you see it, every one of these is from that list. It's got the little purple check mark. And we're going to create sit, create 30 designs. It's going to open up a new template. Now, for this, they're all exactly the same. So we're going to change the background image so that they look different. But you can see this is one prayer. This is a different prayer. So what we're going to do, I'm going to come here to, and you could have left this background black or blank if you wanted to. I'm going to go to elements and I'm just going to type in floral. Um, we're going to go to photos and then just slide in. I mean, you don't have to use flowers. You can use geometric. You can use whatever. And then go through and do that for all of them real quick. And then, you know, edit your this to where it matches. You can make your text a little bigger if you wanted to. And you're going to do that for all 30. Save them as JPEGs. So I've already saved the mine. So let me close all this. So now we're going to come back to Post Planner. And we're going to hit create post. We're going to change this up here to multiple posts. We're going to select the bucket, which is the PFE prayer graphic. That's the 6 a.m. post. Upload the images. So these are ones I already created. Now it's going to take a moment to upload all these.
Okay. So they're all ready to go. Now, these are just graphics. So I don't need to put any text here or anything. I'm just going to leave them exactly like this. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I'm going to hit create or save to bucket 30 posts. Now we'll go back over here to our calendar. And you see it filled it in to that 6 a.m. slot for the entire month. Okay. So now we're going to do our next one. So we're going to hit create posts, single post, and this is going to go to the PFE stream graphics. So now I'm going to show you how to find streams. So we're actually not going to do this. Let me get out of here. To schedule out streams, you're going to come over here to this um, content tab, the, the first little square box here. Now here is where you can search for streams. You can just type in um, I don't know, scripture, scripture, quote. Actually, I think I put Bible quotes in here. And it'll search out streams. And so you can click on any of these and follow that stream. So I'm already following some streams here. So I'm going to click on maybe this one. Let's see what comes up in this. And it does take a, a little moment for it to load everything. So what this is, these are like folders of content that have gone viral or semi-viral from various sources, Facebook, Reddit, RSS feeds, things like that. And the metadata is tied to the owners, like the original poster. So this enables us to reshare their content and get engagement on our own pages. And I love this because it takes all the work like you don't have to go through and make all the graphics that you want to share. You can find some that have already been made. Plus, if you're not that creative, this gives you ideas of things um, that you wouldn't have otherwise thought about. All right. So you see, it's just a feed of all these different things. So I'm just going to go through them and find ones that I like that mesh with. Now, keep in mind, it, depending on what your bucket is, if it's going to be just a Bible verse bucket, then you would find ones that just have Bible verses. I have a bucket also for kind of humorous ones, ones that are more like have a little funny to a Bible humor. So whatever it is. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to hit the green plus sign for this video. I'm just going to go through and click. Jeez. A lot of Easter stuff on this one. So Oops, I didn't want to do that. There we go. And read some of these. And you see down here, this green button, it tells you how many you've added. So we're trying to get to 30. And you can go back and forth. So if I don't really find any here that I want, let me scroll down a little further. And you can come over here and click on, we'll do this one, Viral Christian. And it still saves the ones you've already clicked on. And so we can check out different buckets to find different content that we might want to share. Let's see, we're at 21. And... Some cute stuff in here too. 25. Don't overthink this. This is just for page engagement. Okay, there we go. So we've got 30 in the folder. So we're going to hit create 30 posts. And again, this one, you don't need to say anything because it's just an engagement post. So you're going to go all the way to the bottom, save to bucket. And 
Now bucket number two is filled. So the next one is our blog post link. So I have a spreadsheet that has all of my blog posts. So I'm actually gonna just pull from this one. And so you're gonna use these links. So this one takes a little bit longer to schedule. So I'm just gonna go down here and we're just gonna start pulling. So here we're gonna go create post. This is gonna to go to the blog post bucket. Now watch this part carefully because we don't want the link in the, in the post itself. So I'm gonna paste the link here first because it's gonna give me some text over here on the side. But I'm also going to scroll down here and I'm gonna paste the link in the comment because that's where we want the link. Then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna click where it says post as image. I'm gonna check that box. So it removes the link from the post itself and just puts the image. Then I can just copy some of this AI generated stuff here. Now, one thing I like to do is this emoji copy thing arrow and I'll do two. And so here I'm going to say link and comments. And I'm going to put the little arrows before it. Now this is just something I do. You don't have to do this, but you see how it on the post itself right here, those blue links just make it pop a little more to let them know like, hey, there's a link down here. You probably, if you want to read more about this. But then what I do, because I'm in scheduling mode, I'm gonna copy this entire part, link in comments with the arrows. I'm gonna open up just a URL box and I'm gonna paste it here, but I'm not gonna hit enter. This way I don't have to keep coming back to the emoji page. I can just copy this and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, so good, good, good. And it's in the right bucket. So I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna come grab the next one. Create post, it's still in the right bucket. Content. Okay, why is it not bringing up my, I think because I put this here before, there we go. Okay, so now I can put it in there. I'm gonna remove the link. I'm gonna copy this, put it here, grab my, emoji thing. Now it says what it says, save to bucket. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I have create new. I'm going to put the link. Remove that. Copy. Sure, it looks right. Boom. So for the sake of time and this video, I'm not going to do all of them, but we go to the calendar here. And so you see it starts filtering it into the 10 o'clock. So you'll do that for all 30 posts. Now, just to keep in mind, because I'm showing you a whole bunch of different things and I want to keep this video somewhat short. Creating the graphics, because I've learned how to do the bulk create and everything else, I am able to do all of this in probably an hour or less. Now, if it's your first time doing it, it'll probably take you a little longer because you're just learning how all of this works. But once you master this process, especially if you're doing several posts that are just from the streams or graphics or whatever, it doesn't take that long. All right, so we've done the blog post. Next is the static. So this is an important one. So again, I'm going to use ChatGPT for some ideas. And so let's do some questions. Questions are always good. So I just say, hey, create a list of 30 questions about prayer. Create a list of 30 um, light humored questions about the Bible or about Bible characters or something. I have I have all kinds. So I have faith and humor. This one, um, create a list of funny questions related to faith and reading the Bible. So all you would do is, again, this is gonna be a manual action. 
So I'm going to copy that one. I'm going to hit create post. Now we're going to the question bucket. I'm going to paste it there. Now, this is the part that is an extra step. Here it enables you. So this is a beta and the lower level subscriptions, I don't think have this option, but if you do have like, I don't know, one of the upper subscription levels, you'll have this option. If you can't, if you're paying for a lesser version of Pro, uh, Post Planner and you don't have this feature built in because you're at a lower level, just do this in the meta dashboard. So schedule them straight through meta. These type of posts, Facebook wants you to use this feature, so it's actually pushing these out a little more than other ones. So you just click on that. You can pick one of these that shows or, you know, pick a different color. And it just makes the colored background. This is all it is, but it makes it stand out in the feed. So we're going to save that one. And we're going to do another one, which is... How would you help Samson update his dating profile? Just again, it's funny, it's lighthearted. Come here, boom. And so you'll do that for all of your questions real quick, copy, paste, copy, paste. And that's why I love the chat GPT because it just gives it to you in this format. And you just literally copy, put it over there, change the color, boom. Copy, put it over there, change the color, boom. And you'll go through and you'll do that for that entire bucket. So there they are right there. So the last one that we're going to talk about is the recycle bucket. Now on my kingdom blogger. So let me actually hop over here and show you. I have this bucket set for 12 o'clock and I have a lot of printables on my site. I have printable Bible study questions for all my Bible studies. I have coloring pages, phone screen savers. I just have a lot of content, different URLs that have free downloadable printable things, whatever they are. People tend to engage more with that type of content when they're getting a freebie than the general blog post content. So I went through and found all of my URLs that offer a free thing that I know is stuff people will actually want. Like just because it's free doesn't mean people are going to take it. But if it's something valuable like soap worksheets or, you know, Bible study notes, things like that, things they don't have to subscribe for. That's the important part. This is a totally free, no screen strings attached. Just click the link, download it. That's very important. A lot of people think you're going to create all this free stuff. You've got to get their email list. The goal here is to get traffic to your website. In order to do that, make it free. Build your upsells later. This is all about the free stuff. So you can see these. I have my phone screen. And so I just create square graphics. I have a template in Canva and I just have created. So far, I have, I think about 15 different URLs. I'm actually going to create some new pages, new URLs that have varying kinds. Some of them will be roundups of the stuff on the other pages, whatever. The idea is just getting more clicks to the website. And so you can see, let's see that one, verse mapping, scripture writing plans, coloring pages, prayer, uh, 365 days of prayer. I have digital stickers, uh, my Bible study questions for women, the Beatitudes coloring book. I mean, you can see just whatever it is. So maybe this can give you some ideas of things that you should create. This is some of this it was SEO back in the day, you know, when Google and SEO worked. This content now is strictly for social media and Pinterest, stuff that I know people are looking for in these platforms and that people will engage with. Many of them have no SEO value whatsoever, but they get clicks because it's stuff people want. Okay. So Create your little graphics and do all that. And then you're just going to come in here and go back to Post Planner. And we're going to go to. And the thing with these, my goal is to get at least 21 separate URLs, individual URLs that go to three things. And then I put them on repeat. So it'll run through, you know, 21 days and then it'll start over because in 21 days, hopefully I've you know, increase my followers to the page. Plus it's going to push it out to more people as well. And therefore, even though the people 21 days ago saw this post, maybe they didn't see the post depending on what time of day they got on Facebook, but in 21 days, 
and it's published again, there's a more, another opportunity for people to see it. So these, I'm just putting them on repeat. So you're gonna come here, you're gonna create. Now, you could do multiple posts here if you wanted to. We'll try it this way, or you could do it individually. So I am gonna go with, I'm just using the graphics that I have over my other one to kind of show you. So I'll open these up. And you're gonna say, download your free printables. And then we're gonna grab our link in comments thing. Right? And then we're gonna go through and find the URL for each of these. And let's see, I know I got them in here somewhere. Well, my reading plans. Well, wherever the links are, I have them on another page. But you would go through and put the link for each one of these. And then the thing you're gonna do is turn this recycle on forever. Recycle on forever, recycle on forever, and so forth. Actually, I'm going to take this one off because I want to show you how to add more to the recycle. Um, so for the sake of this, I'm not going to put the link in it because then I have to go back and do it. But I want to keep this video short. But you would put your link to that particular page in the first comment. And then you're going to add to queue. All right. So now go to our calendar. Okay. So now we see here this 2 p.m. It's got the little green dot. That means it's a recycle post. And so that's basically it. Of course, I'm just doing, I did five different ones. I did an image that you create yourself, images that you take from the streams built within, um, a blog post link, a static where you type it in and put the colored background, and then how to create recycle posts, okay? And that's it. So create a variety of these different ones. Like I said, I have... I'm gonna come back over here to this one, just so you can see. Mine has a variety. I have static images, I have blog post links, I have questions, um, prayers, Bible verses, uh, random things to ponder, take, you know, again, this 30, 330 bucket is the one where I just, as I'm on Facebook and find in, encouraging, engaging, whether it's a question or statements, that I find really profound or insightful. I'll just copy those on a notepad somewhere or save them to my phone if I'm out and about. And then I'll just add those in. And the one thing you can do, once you've got all this scheduled and you do it for a whole month, then you wanna come over here and you can do this inside your meta dashboard as well. But take note of the ones that were, so we're gonna sort by comments, the ones that got the most engagement. This one had 30 comments. What is your preferred Bible translation? I knew that was going to get a lot of comments. So at the end of 30 days, go through and look. And any of them that really got a lot of engagement, more so than other ones, you can click on here and turn, open the post up, and then turn the recycle on. So when you schedule out next month's stuff, this one will just add it into the mix. So anything that proves you know, click worthy, engagement worthy, repeat it. Okay. I mean, don't share it like 10 times in the same month, but once a month, let it go out again. So any new followers that you get may engage with it as well. The idea being the more people engage with what you're posting, the more Facebook's algorithm will push it out to more people. Okay. And of course, that's the goal is to get it pushed out more. So more people see it beyond just the ones that are following you right now. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this was slow enough. I know I tend to go really fast sometimes because I'm just like, ah. um, but it's super simple. Number one, create your plan, like your list. Here's the things I'm going to post each day. Here's the times. I personally recommend at a minimum five or six posts going out every two hours. Like that would be bare minimum. 
but I like to do at least one post every hour between six and 5 p.m. That's where I get the 11 a day. So at least one post per hour. That way, every hour something's going out. So, you know, Facebook, like if you post it at 7 a.m., but people don't get on Facebook until, say, noon, they're not necessarily going to see it. And so by posting something every hour, you increase the chances of people actually, including the people following your page. But you also need to have a variety of content. Like I said, my ratio is two to one for link posts. So for every link post with the link in the comment, not the post itself, I have two posts that have no link that just keep people on Facebook. Um, those static ones where you type in a statement or a question and put the colored background, definitely two or more of those a day because Facebook wants you to use that feature. And then of course, prayers, questions, people like to answer questions, um, things like that. And so just try different things and see what type of content your audience is going to most engage with. And y'all, I mean, my uh, last month alone, I went from barely a trickle of traffic to almost 600 clicks back to my blog. And that for me is the goal is to recover that lost uh, traffic that Google took away from me. And so, so far, this has been really great. I'm gaining organic followers. I am paying for ad and ad to build my follower count, not boosting content. So all of this content, set it, forget it. Literally one, maybe two hours of your day can schedule out the entire content for the month. And then it's very important <laughs> that you're not done. Okay, so you definitely want to check it you know, once or twice a day, because you want to respond to comments. If someone comments, amen, heart that and say, amen, indeed. The idea that every single comment that is made, you want to like acknowledge that comment in some way. And so Facebook tendencies to like that. So if people just comment and you don't say nothing, it's kind of rude, <laughs> right? We're wanting to build community and engagement. So if they say something, you should comment back. Um, and then you know, me personally, I'll share it on my blog page and then I'll click back over to my Leanne page and then I'll go visit the page and I may heart it or comment just to get the comment and engagement going. I honestly don't know how Facebook sees that since the, the account is tied to my personal account, but I do it. Um, but anyway, that's all. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, my post planner referral link is down in the notes. Um, so if you want to check it out, I'd appreciate you using my referral link. Um, but comment below with questions or hop over to my Facebook group. And I will talk to you guys all real soon. Bye-bye.